what about that such colorful kind of uh, outlook and interface so this is the downtown most of you are aware of the downtown surroundings if you have been here uh, previously so this is the intersection of 7th street 7th avenue and this is the just the transit uh, stop uh, here and we are just located very next to the transit you see how lucky we are to have uh, a close proximity to the uh, train station and buses so bus stop is just here on the left side so location wise we are ideally located in the central hub of the downtown which is uh, very easy for your commute and ride wherever you are coming from we are having uh, from the north and the east uh, and the south everywhere we have uh, students coming in uh, and it's uh, basically students love to have because if they are coming from jobs the location and ease of access is their prime concern okay so let's move forward today i'm here to talk about my program okay so being an instructor i have a lot to tell but maybe in this short time uh, everything is not covered so let's start first of all let me tell you um, we have divided our presentation into segments we'll focus more on the program what we are offering then we will be discussing job opportunities with you guys after the course and what are the courses we have included in this and last section we have uh, allocated for the questions answers so about me the basics uh, uh, my uh, healthcare experience is extensive i gr graduated from pakistan way back in 90s and then i have uh, healthcare experiences private and teaching hospital so in canada my uh, healthcare experience is uh, mostly i'll say in alberta based because before that i was working in toronto also so here my experience in alberta is 5 years working in uh, a set of five uh, clinics which belong to one organization doctors plus and their head offices in airdrie and other branches are all over calgary bicycle north area rural area is also branch so working in clinics was fun and learning also so most of you are uh, i'm seeing from the names they are immigrants so i was also an immigrant and when i joined it was very hard to find a suitable health related uh, job or even kind of first step entry so just like you guys are today and finding and looking for a better choices maybe you are already working somewhere and choices are very hard and you are thinking oh I, this i want an office job or i want a respectable job so when i started i started with the same kind of thoughts and a uh, lot of ambitions so just like you guys i started as an moa i took a course and then i step by step progressed to supervisor clinical manager then i worked in different capacities as billing scheduling and panel manager of the physicians here i also had experience in creating referrals and coordinating with the specialist offices booking appointments for our uh, demanding patients and then i worked specially for physicians and physician assistants kind of role i was coordinating learning aspect of the electronic medical uh, with the doctors and the practicum students also so my experience with the electronic medical records in canada uh, increased day by day since i worked over 5 years so i have been working on telehealth health systems multiple and qhr technologies qh uh, this is acuro which is the basic foundation course uh, emr so i'm i'm enjoying my current days uh, at erp very comfortable relaxed environment and students are benefiting and i'm taking evening classes and weekend programs so all of you are here with the big question mark how is it are you taking right step becoming a medical office assistant is it right for you okay so let me tell you if you are looking for a rewarding profession that cannot only pay you well but you get at the end of the day job satisfaction okay just imagine yourself you are sitting in a medical office uh, and then you are wearing your nice scrubs and patient comes to you and then you deal them with your comfortable smiles and all the services that you are providing and then in the end you watch them leave with such a smiling face and which give yourself and in your heart how does you feel okay so mostly medical office assistant job is dealing directly with our clients who are patients okay so it's the only field like in most of the colleges are offering these courses medical office assistant but people who have worked in the field like i have worked 
clinical experience uh it has taught me a thing that unless you deal with the real patients academics don't benefit you much okay so another question the students when they come to me first day they keep asking these general question about employment opportunities because everything is just a kind of a haze in their minds that okay we have joined the course and things are not clear so are we going to get somewhere is there a road to success so in this field when you do this course medical office assistant here you will not be able to work in the front staff role as a receptionist in medical offices or walk in clinics but you can also progress to other careers you can become kind of with advanced training you can go into nurses roles and other kind of healthcare ad's roles okay whereas in the medical clinics there are lot of opportunities people think that only the receptionist is sitting there that's the only role but in the back of the clinics there are a lot of uh, things going on which patients or maybe you have been going many times to the family clinics and you don't realize is there any other staff in the clinic you don't even know that but maybe there are five six girls or guys who are working as mos and in the shadows of the clinic uh, daily routines they are not the front faces but actually they are the backbones of the clinic working in collaboration with the physicians and managers they are the ones without which honestly based on my experience i will tell you even the doctors will be failing to work if staff is not there especially in these circumstances now you know that lot of even volunteers are helpful and already hired staffs they are doing a remarkable job so a lot of opportunities are there and promising opportunities okay so you can not only assist the doctors with their medical billings but you can join hospitals as medical transcriptionist where specialists surgeons and consults consultants they are doing their dictations and then hand you over their audio files and you are the ones typing and recording and everything you are doing on your keyboarding uh, kind of skills so all those skills that are required for your professional development are taught here and you will never fail when you say yes i have graduated from erp college and they have taught me right and they have made me job ready another question that uh, few people have in mind is what is the difference between medical office assistant and a nurse okay so basically some of you may have a health experience uh, we will talk about that later on so when you want to get into a field here canada being kind of a far remote continent so you do not know what are the right fields and what is the difference is medical office assistant the same as a nurse so let me tell you there is a bit uh, kind of difference medical assistant means they only are eligible to work in medical clinics but what we are offering here is not only medical office assistant course we are off also offering hospital unit clerk which make you eligible to apply for job in the hospitals and working side by side with the nurses so nurses are ba basically trained to work in the hospitals right from the beginning but nowadays nurses are also coming into clinics okay so nurses are usually trained to do those things which moas are not doing so you guys will not be dealing patients like giving injections or giving prescription to the patients on behalf of patient uh, doctor but nurses can do that okay so during the co uh, um, progression of the, our course we will keep discussing these things uh, when you join us so our course is unique why and how it differs from other community colleges because what we are promising based on my clinical experience and my colleagues we have three instructors here and all of them are carrying wonderful kind of uh, uh, rapport uh, when they are conducting and running their courses so you can see in the picture these are our real students who had been here and they are doing lab work practice in the lab so we have a special lab here with all the kits equipment tools that are required for your training and our curriculum which we definitely are proudly uh, uh, claiming that it is frequently reviewed by our advisory committee and not only instructors are part of that but our campus director education coordinator they are always ready to co collaborate with the instructors whatever whatever help is required with each and every student we base the schedules of the student according to their comfort level and we ensure that the program is according to the alberta government health services standards 
And what we are offering is a lot of choices. You can join morning classes. You can opt for evening. And then we have weekend uh, classes also. Okay, So people who are having full weekdays jobs, they don't find time. So that's a golden opportunity for you. Our online academics are all kind of in Google Classroom, which is a very high end uh, classroom. Not every college is doing that. And luckily, you guys will be having that all your ebooks, all the forms, assignments, quizzes, everything will be online. No more paperwork, nothing. So no more bundles of uh, assignments to take home or print everything. So all is paperless here. So before even going for coronavirus online thing, we were already online. Basically, we were having blended classes, all online ass assignments and everything, plus only physically students were there. And what students were gaining from physical presence, their clinical training, which was conducted in their MOA lab, and then the actual training of hands-on training, which I would say a lot in the electronic medical records training. And luckily, our college, and I have been working in other college, I'm still working in uh, another college. So proudly, I say that uh, it's only the ERP college that is offering the TALIS health system, which is Wolf system. Okay, So we'll talk about that uh, because uh, you guys will be benefiting from that. We start our students uh, from the basics. Some of you may be having a computer experience or professional skills on keyboarding and Microsoft, but we make you uh, kind of more enhanced. If some of you are on the basic level, we start from there and carry on after you finish your learning center uh, course, you will join me or one of my instructors according to your rotation of courses. And then we have a uh, first aid uh, for healthcare professionals uh, course with, without which you are not eligible to go for a practicum. Practicum placement is done by our lovely Yolanda here. She's our practicum coordinator also, and she's pharmacology instructor. So she's also a very experienced girl and uh, always uh, happy to accommodate all the students' needs according to their uh, neighborhood or preference and according to the timings available. She arranges their practicum. So program at ERP is divided into modules, very easy ones, our monthly intakes, does not have any clash with the modules. Whenever you are joining us, we will keep rotating you in a cycle so that you don't miss anything. So we have uh, the specialty that I was talking and none other college is offering that. That is called Wolf EMR. It is TALIS Health System, very high end, and it's the most expensive one. 80% clinics are, have moved and shifted their electronic medical records to the Wolf system now. And it's so user friendly. And we make you job ready about that. You will not only be able to create or register files of the patients, but you will be regularly creating patients' appointments on that. Okay, We will tell you how to uh, be more helpful to the physicians in regard to their panel reports, their quarterly chronic disease management, everything that you need to learn, which is based on practical facts, not academics. Honestly, our course, we are proudly saying that our course is practical course, okay? Although we are having not many hundred books for you, no, no pressure of studying a big, big books. We are offering those things which are totally, totally clinically oriented. Okay, and this Wolf EMR is one example of that. And our job is to make you so much efficient and confident in that once you are trained in wolf emr everything will be easy other emrs are just peanuts for people who have been trained on wolf system so how we make uh, learning easy and fun we have create flashcards jam words and a lot of your assignments and quizzes are kind of like that they are involving physical activities contests game boards all those things okay so this is just an example of our medical terminology which people students usually fear of but you can see we always have incorporated figures and diagrams and everything from our book which is also from the very renowned company press and publishers and these are examples of our medical terminology learning things. You can see students of medical office assistant program. They are taught just like in the sense that they do not need to go back to the books again and again. They are learning from their self mistakes. That's how they are learning better. And they can compete with any other college students much better. And medical terminology contests, we regularly 
have those sessions with in small batches we divide our, our students and they create their own mentor you can see the girl sitting in the center is the mentor and she's the judge for both the groups and then they eventually get rewards for what they do this is medical clinical practice in our moe lab we make uh, our students do all those uh, um, procedures that are required uh, uh, skills for your professional lives okay you can see the girls are checking the blood pressure height weight everything hands on training on the kids even the pharma pharmacology lab we have here and all the kind of state of art uh, tools and equipments that are required we train our students on that so academics is not the only thing we are having. We have a lot of celebrations and fun going around. This is one on the right side, our other instructor, Dr. Sadia Khan, Atif, and uh, this is Dr. Atif Khan. And these are like a lot and lot of students uh, who are gathered around and they are celebrating. So we have student appreciation days also, and uh, your hard work and your intelligence will not go wasted. If you are already having uh, punctuality, you're already detail oriented and you are empathetic towards other people, you are understanding and willing to learn. I'm telling you, you are already a promising and successful MOA and this kind of smile will be on your faces soon. So after graduation, like obviously after academics, your uh, program finishes with us. Uh, we keep in touch with our students even after they complete their practicum. Um, we have professional networks, which constitutes hiring managers, recruiters, and a lot of representatives of the field. And our successful alumni, like those students who had already been hired, they are the great resource of referral or recommendations for our new MOAs. Okay. So you can choose any other career also of this, like you can advance your education, Online educations are available to become nurses and experienced MOAs have so much kind of uh, progression chance in every field. Now they can become clinical facilitators. They can jo join the radiology offices and labs, a lab here, which is extensive now. So you can do a lot of work here, but learning is the first step and willing to learn is your first step that you guys have taken today. So once you start getting the prospectus of the college that's the day that you have really decided i want to make a change in my life and you can see the happy smile is already there thank you very much i hope you have uh, enjoyed this session so off we go for some questions um, and anyone who can so i'll be happy to answer so i'll move back and i'll stop my presentation and be there physically for you guys yes please uh, hi. Uh. Hello. Uh, who's it? Ahmed. How long will be the course? Yes, uh, definitely. We left these things because definitely everyone else has to ask. So course duration uh, with the instructors is different and your learning uh, is different. So one month you will be spending after your orientation and joining with the learning center, which is the computer, Microsoft and everything. Then you will uh, join the MOA instructors, which is uh, around a uh, six months course. Okay. After that, you will be uh, eligible for uh, doing your first aid course and practicum, which is 100 hours. So almost it will make uh, eight months. Is it okay, Amit? Nine months, ma'am. Nine months. Okay. Yeah. So what's the difference between? Sorry, I have to go back lab course class as course is online now no we are having all those things that we are we are having a simulation program from pearson which is called my lab okay so we have uh, collaborated with pearson now and they are offering a simulated uh, program uh, with all the activities that you have to do and uh, soon it will be running uh, this month at the end of the, this month yeah and let me see i'm i was seeing a question here what's the difference between office administration and moa yeah that's a very nice question so office administration difference is they are they can work anywhere in other offices uh, as a general role okay so they are basically the secretaries or receptionist who can just uh, spend whole of the time in the reception or the filing department but moa is working with the healthcare providers which are nurses which are doctors dietitians and other people who are experts specialists so you will be working with those ones who are cream of the nation like those people okay 
highly genius people you will be working with and those are the ones who and basically you are clinically kind of uh, becoming a person in medical office assistant course whereas in office administration they don't have any uh, of those segments and uh, your whole uh, kind of customers and clients will be totally different here you will be dealing with um, clients who are also sick patients and everything so we have a lot of uh, kind of uh, potential of showing our uh, humanity and our uh, empathy thing over there so this is the course if you are empathetic at heart and have those skills for being helpful to people so this is medical office assistant course so anyone else have to ask something let me check the chat message so so for uh, Ahmed, Arlene, and um, yeah. Hello. And we have already created recordings of all our lectures, all our lab sessions. So our students who join us, they can go anytime back and they can review those lectures and lab sessions. That is also a very uh, good thing. Yeah, after your practicum, and uh, let me tell you, my dear, uh, during your practicum is the kind of chance 80% uh, students are get hired if they are very good in communication skills and their uh, kind of professional uh, aptitude. They are the ones who get hired quickly. I have seen my own personal uh, students who were being hired from their practicum placement. But after your practicum, definitely, you keep increasing your network. And during the course, we teach you how to create your networking circles, become part of LinkedIn, create your LinkedIn profile, and other resume building. Those are all part of our training. And you will be having a kind of a special session with Yolanda and other people who are helping uh, enhance your uh, employment skills also. international Just students uh, for now uh, that answer i cannot give you actually so maybe uh, some of our uh, like administrator uh, like uh, our director may be able to answer that question anna so uh, right. about international graduates so somebody here our uh, yes, friend here wants to know about we that will. okay sounds good well thank you so much dr sidra for that wonderful yeah. presentation thank you so much um so do you guys have any more questions regarding our medical office assistant and unit clerk program yeah there is, there is someone who's asking someone. about hospital okay. placement okay so we um, will do we will be i will be introducing our um another facilitator who can ask your um any questions about erp college and the financial assistance side um miss annalisa the floor is yours Hi, good afternoon. Thank you for coming and joining our webinar. I will be answering some of your questions. Before I move on on other aspects, I would like to answer Ahmed. Uh, your question is, I will be in Calgary within a few months, so it is available for international students. Our program is available for international students, especially this month, this one nine months program. We can help you apply. Um, all you need is for um, acceptance letters from us to to apply it in the immigration for your student permit study permit um because it's nine months program you need to have a study permit for you to be able to study with us so is this something that you are looking for ahmed we can connect with you later and we can discuss more about those options for you is that something that I answered, Ahmed? Thank you. Do you place in the hospitals for practical? Um, we are always trying to place our students in different um, opportunities. Or, you know, when we talk about practicum, we always want that that practicum will be the you will have an opportunity for employment in that practicum. If you're so going to see our social media, especially on Facebook, um, those students who are getting their, their work right after the practicum, we celebrate that. Uh, so that's why they are there. Um, for the hospital, it's a long process to apply in the hospital, but we always try to apply for, for practicum in the hospital. But in the medical office assistant, since um, a lot of opportunities in the medical clinic, 
Right, right, mom, <laughs> Dr. Sidra. So we train most of our students in a medical clinic because of those opportunity of booking, claiming for insurance, billing. Uh, those are the experience that you will need to know when you work in a medical clinic. Am I right, Dr. Sidra? Yeah, uh, very right, uh, Anna. Thank you. So only uh, one thing is uh, we always encourage our students uh, to be uh, joining the Alberta Health Services Network by becoming volunteer. So many of my students have already done that. And uh, because it's a very long process, as Anna has said, they don't even accept uh, volunteers uh, because a lot of volunteers are in the line even. OK, so once you have done volunteership in hospital uh, after completing this course, which uh, is having a very comprehensive two weeks hospital unit fund fundamental course you are eligible to uh, join the hospital uh, uh, this practicum but uh, because alberta health has a strictly kind of policy for not accepting uh, uh, these medical office assistant program and they have stopped for all the colleges it's not uh, uh, our college every community college has been prohibited okay but uh, your placement will be in such medical offices which have specialist and multidisciplinary themes will be there that's our surety. We will uh, place you there. Thank you. And also, you can apply after your practicum and get your diploma with us. You can apply for job in the hospital. You know, you just have to apply in Alberta Health Services. And if, if you were being chosen for interview or even to get a job, then that's very nice. Basically, based on my experience, um, if you're outside Calgary, if you are not in the city, there's more chance for you to be accepted in the hospital. So we have some students in Red Deer or they got a job some in the community hospital in Red Deer. Yeah, and more urgent cares are opening here. Uh, all over uh, Calgary, we have uh, one in Chestermere also, and uh, then we have in Cochrane, in Airdrie, and many MOAs are hired here, and that is Alberta Health mm -hmm. Job, and which is very yes. lucrative. So the same benefits you can get there. And they have more hiring uh, also going on every uh, like kind of monthly basis they are hiring. Yeah. But maybe right now, maybe they will hire because <laughs> there's a need, a lot of needs for a Yeah, I definitely <laughs> agree. Mm -hmm. Yes, especially here in Calgary. So I hope that we answer that. So let me just again, thank you very much for coming. I'm Annalisa Santa Ana, and I am um, the assistant director at ERP College. Um, our college is licensed in Alberta. So um, we can always help you. We can always help you in applying for student loan if you are a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident. If you are a refugee, we, we can look into it and maybe we can also help you apply for a loan. I'm at for international students. Um, unfortunately, the student aid is not for you, uh, but we can talk about it and um, I can let you know about the tuition fee. If you are more interested about it, we can give you more information about more details about this later on. Um, as I mentioned to you, we are accredited as in Alberta um, and we are open right now in whole province of Alberta, especially right now, that we are having our classes online. So when we say online, the only difference that we have, you, if maybe some of you will be like online and you will be hesitant. Huh, how can I learn online? And maybe that will be hard. Um, or you have an experience before that all the online resources is just there and you study on your own, that's not the case for us. As Dr. Sidra mentioned a while ago, um, we are virtual classes. Our teachers are there. Um, we have a specific schedule that you can interact with your teachers and your classmate because it's a live class. It's also like this, you'll see, and it's a very convenient to use. Um, you can ask questions. You can unmute yourself and talk, right? Not only typing and chatting. Um, everybody also can see you if you want to show yourself. So that's the difference of our classes to other online classes. Um, we record our... Um, our session like this that we are recording right now but also um it's not like we the purpose of recording is because for those people who are not able to attend on that class they can retrieve it but it's not only like you study on your own so you will get all the support that you need 
as a student and we give you all the support that you need as a school and as a teacher so uh, our operation is still not it's the same as we have in our um regular or our, our old normal so our school are still open everybody are still at work and the teachers are there so don't be um hesitant to say i don't want the online classes and if you feel like you have some troubles also let us know maybe we can help right um so um maybe some people are questioning right now and asking oh so if it is um online now what happened after covid19 so um for right now until the covid19 is affecting all of us so we will be having a classes like this online you don't need to go to school but if ever after a few months and your course is nine months um after a few months that we are better um if you choose to attend and see me sidra or the other teachers in different schedule you can do that because then the only difference is they will be conducting the classes in person and virtually in the campus and you still have and i don't want you to think also no oh no i don't want to enroll this and then later on they will force me to go to the campus if we are flexible on this now so if you cannot come in calgary if you are somewhere in alberta you can still join the class virtually okay so is there any other question you are all silent <laughs> um so everything are good did i miss any question here um ahmed i will we will send you we will contact you even we will send you all the informations you need uh, for everybody we will send you also is this not available if you are within quebec oh you ramandeep are you in quebec right now no no okay uh no okay so um anybody actually can apply for for you can study here because we are online right even you in the other country you can study and enroll with us um it depends only we can discuss on how the payment will goes because uh mostly for canadian citizen permanent resident here in alberta it will be easy for us to just uh apply for student loan for you so you can study without putting out some money but also in other provinces um we can apply your your province also can uh provide um student loan for from you so but then we have to talk to you ahead of time because might be it will be a longer process is there anything thank you ramandeep maybe your friend would like to study let us know <laughs> okay is there any other questions we're good when is the start date oh that's a good question thank you so much <laughs> i believe uh, Ms. Sidra already um said, mentioned that every month we have an intake so right now our nearest intake it will be for may but it will start on april 27 and our orientation will be on April 24. So we also have an orientation. It will be like this. We will orient you also on our educational system um, that we are using. And we will also um, orient you with your, we will also give you your course calendar during the orientation. But every month we have the intake. So the nearest intake now, and that is considered for May is April 27. We have schedule also of morning, evening, and weekend classes so you can choose also on those uh, uh, classes hours though even though it's online you still have to choose your class hours so we know we can assign you a teacher thank you ramandi for your question is there any other question course what about the course ramandi you can also talk if you want you can try your microphone so it will be sorry <laughs> okay no worries is there any other question 
Wow. Yeah, uh, and uh, one thing I should make clear, uh, um, girls and guys, that after taking this MOKS course, you will be eligible wherever in whichever province you are in Canada, wow. you can apply for job anywhere. There are no restrictions with our course. You will be having so much graduated courses uh, mm -hmm. after your graduation. Anywhere in Canada, you can get a job. Okay. Yes, thank you, Ms. Sidra, for that. Yes. So anywhere in part of Canada you can study. Um, that's a very and that is actually right now they are very in demand. They are the frontliner. Um, some people are the one who's saying no for the job right now, <laughs> but um, it's a um, anything medical related is a very good course. Can we proceed to four years course after graduation? Uh, what program are you thinking, Eileen? Okay, let me just, so usually when I was always nursing, yes, usually what I, what I am or medical courses like nursing. Okay, usually when I am talking to um, a lot of um, high school students even, because of course they always want to pursue higher, higher degree, right? I always tell them it is, will not stop you. Of course you can. One thing good if you take all these courses, short diploma courses, it gives you an idea of how the works or the, the work goes in that situation that you want or in the field that you want. It gives you already an eye, like a, a preview of what will be your work in the future. So this is a good thing because it gives you all the skills and knowledge that you need to be a medical practitioner, okay? Of course, not like a doctor, but at least to assist the doctor. So you can pursue that, you can pursue later. So the, a lot of people are having mistakes because especially like the young people, they study, for example, nursing four years, fresh from high school. But then later on, they find out that, Hmm. If I finish, in, if I don't want to continue after two years, they cannot find a job because they have to retrain themselves first in the specific skills. So our college is job oriented. We want you to be ready after nine months, ready to have a better job, that you will get a money that is above the minimum. So after, the, even though you're continue, even though you finish the diploma, you can study nursing. It gives you a good background right and also at the same time it gives you also an idea do you really want this course or not right <laughs> do you want to pursue your four years because you already see how the life of the nurses and doctors so yes that is actually a good but honestly it's good to get like college diploma because it gives you easy access for a job that you really want i hope i answer you arlene <laughs> Yeah, and even for uh, male uh, members, like there is a lot of opportunity in nursing. I will kind of like second Anna that uh, males should not be discouraged, discouraging mm -hmm. or feeling kind of low than the uh, girls that they are the mostly in the front faces of clinics. No, nowadays I'm telling you, I have seen uh, young boys coming in and even experienced uh, gentlemen who have been our students. They are hired and they are doing a lot better job than the girls. Okay. So that's a good point for you guys. You have a lot of potential, potential and uh, progression chances in this career. Okay. Yeah, I know a medical man, medical office manager. He's a guy, and he's a manager of medical office assistant in Imagine. So the yeah, medical yeah, mostly, mostly, and they are so good in billing, and they are so good in referrals with a specialist. Mostly, uh, uh, they are the ones uh, we put forward. Yes, you are the guy to, who have to deal with the specialists. <laughs> yeah, so they are very mm -hmm. holding the uh, fort. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Arlene, also for your questions. Do you have any other questions? None. So if you're going, if you are interested in our program, as I mentioned to you, guys, ladies and gentlemen, um, we are offering these courses, this program every month. So our nearest intake will be April 27. And how the registration goes, since we are online, we will not ask you to risk your life and go out and see.
us, we can do all the process through um, online and communication and we can register you and we can help you apply for student loan also without you without you coming or seeing us uh, in the campus but you're seeing us here like this so we can do all those things so if you're interested uh, what we're going to do we will be sending you a package um, okay I, I will be um, we will be sending you a package of all the college information and then um and the, and your your farm and your medical office assistant specific program and then uh let us know we will also be sending there maybe the student information sheets if you are interested to start um we can process that as soon as you you are available okay is there any other question No? Are we good to go? Yes. Thank you, Ahmed. Thank you, Ahmed. We will call you. Um, if you want, we can discuss your, uh, tell me what time you want me to call you and uh, we can discuss your options for international students. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Dr. Sidra. That is, was a very nice presentation. Thank you for Thank our- Thank you. ERP Thank you team. all. Yeah. Thank you for our attendees. We would love to hear from you again. Um, and please always uh, follow us on Facebook if you want to learn more about our college. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Mostly, and also visit our website. Mostly you will see our students having fun also in the class. We believe that in class, it's not, learning is not only just studying, studying, right? So we also, even though it's, even though it's online, students are having fun also online. And you can see that on our Facebook, you can see our students posting their online life with their teachers. So um, thank you very much. Please follow us on Facebook, uh, ERP College, Facebook, Twitter, also ERP and Instagram. Um, have a good night. Thank you so much. And have a good holiday and a good Friday to you guys. Okay, stay safe and stay home. <laughs> Good night, Good night all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, Carl is here asking something. We can. Are yeah, Carl. I think Carl has some questions about nursing. Yeah, nursing uh, uh, duration will not change, Carl. So even if you have to do uh, the courses that we are covering, like medical terminology, they are your fundamental courses here with us, and then you will be eligible for this course. Uh, nursing course okay so nursing duration is a bachelor course which you are doing graduation course so you will get a degree after that that's not a certificate moa is a certification uh, kind of a diploma it's program a diploma. yeah it's a diploma yeah any other thing carl and nursing is a very good field for uh, male yeah so but foundation course is your medical terminology and other courses which you will be needing in nursing. So this is uh, uh, foundation courses we are offering. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very okay, much. Thank you all. Thank you, Yolanda, for thank conducting you. us. Bye. Take care. See you. Yeah. Thank you. See thank you. you. Have a safe um, weekend. Enjoy your holidays or holy holiday. Thank you. Can <laughs> <laughs>